Hey, hello, I'm <laughs> I'm back for part two. Two of my really weird neighbors walked by and one of them just started singing opera music and it was really weird so I just figured I'd stop filming. So this here's part two. Uh, one interesting feature, oh I'm talking about Prunus lorosoracis by the way. One interesting feature about this plant is its leaves are very photosensitivity or sen photosensitive. So they have this phototropism to them which basically um, alternates the way that the leaves emerge on the branch. And what that basically means is on higher branches you'll have these really nicely spread out world uh, vertical branches or leaves and then on other branches you'll have more like a fan. So they'll kind of jut out sideways horizontally. So if you're going to take cuttings from this plant, take them from the axial tips. So you're going to want them from terminal buds. Um, this plant is suitable for tea budding, for chipping, uh, other types of graft layering methods. If you want to propagate it, it's not very easy to propagate by seed, but if you want to wash the berries and uh, regrow the seeds, except, expect germination within about three to four weeks with a temperature of about 18 degrees Celsius. So they need a bit of bottom heat in order to uh, germinate out of the seed coat. A little bit of warm scarification, if you will. Um, this plant here does benefit from a regular pruning. A lot of people like it as a geometric hedge, but I just let mine go wild because I really like its natural form. It's kind of like a mound. And if you want to attract uh, robins, this is probably the single best thing you can plant other than maybe a holly. They love the berries of this bush. Um, doesn't have too many problems. It'll get a little bit of shot hole in its leaves. Maybe a little bit of blight. Sometimes you get like some gastropod damage too, but nothing detrimental to the health of the plant. Normally the leaves, once mature, they become this dark glossy green color and they can stay on the plant for upwards of three, four seasons. Yeah, so happy growing. I hope you guys enjoy this wonderful member of the Laurel um, Prunus family and I hope it fares well for you. Thanks for watching.